What's up guys, Steve Root again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Check out this. This is the HGP408. It's a rendition of the awesome military uh, beast from the USA, the Humvee. And it's 110 scale, but it's more than just a normal 110 scale. It is fully accurate. It's a hard body. It's got all these like accurate little moving parts, hinges. Things are metal. It's not just a normal Lexan body. It's extremely realistic, like just check out, look at this, how sweet does that look? It's got a two speed transmission, high low, it's also got reverse. This particular model it comes in two, this one has light and sound setup. Um, yeah, check out this for example, look at this, little gas struts for example, real change, little uh, ammunition crate here is where you actually put your LiPo battery. Pretty cool, little deck swings down, as you can see it's got lights, blinkers, all the good stuff. Check out these doors. Look at that. Full interior as well. Pretty damn sweet, huh? Now I'm going to do multi-part series on this particular car. One video won't do it justice, and I want to get up and have a look. Get up all in here and see what makes this guy tick, because there's a lot to it. I want to take the body off and show you all underneath, but check out that. Full interior. All hard body, all plastic, even got like separately applied decals in there, separately applied plastic as well, not just all one moulded piece, there is a lot. And also this turret ring, check out this, it's got even got little switches so they don't just flop open, look at that. And it also rotates on like a little cam, pretty sweet. And not only that, I know it's only the beginning of the video, you also get like a, a toolkit to give you one and a half two and two and a half millimeter, you know, basic toolkit. Small, small stuff, but it's pretty cool. And here's your, like your extra parts that you put up here. Gosh, you just don't want to roll it over when that's on there, but how cool is that? You can put a little G.I. Joe figure in there, stand it all up. Awesome stuff, I'm already carrying on a bit too much. But even like these, the mirrors here, that's all metal, that piece. This little latch, it's like the real thing. How cool is that? And you can pull it out, and then the motor, it's got like a little additional motor cover. Now what you need to do, lift this out, there we go, so you pull it out like that. And then once they're both out, the motor cover lifts up, or the motor cover, the hood, like this. And you got you got another one underneath. As you can see, really quick sneak peek. Awesome stuff. They've got two models, the link's in the description for both of those. If you want to go check them out, you can do so. Um, you know, at least there's, they're not just a one price. There we go there, check out that. Look at that spaghetti wiring. So, fake little engine cover there, looks pretty cool. And then your body, this is even uh, metal. These are metal. Door handles, everything is sweet. Hinges are metal. True bead locks, foam tires, and it's got portal. Oh, that's a big, that's a big thing for, uh, I swap it up and get into the video. It's actually got portal axles as well, portal style axles. Pretty sweet. But enough talking, let's get into it and uh, see what makes it tick. All right, guys, here it is. The Hangguan technology, or they call it the HGP408. Now, there are three colors you can get, which are these ones here, matte green, the desert, and the camo. And you can also get the premium version. There's two versions without sound and light. This one, has the sound system and the lighting installed. Now this guy is pretty amazing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pumped because it's a little bit different. I'm not too sure what market it's going for because it is fairly expensive. Bear that in mind guys. Links in the description if you want to go check it out. It's quite an expensive model, but it is, um, I think, very well put together. It is hard bodied. It has portal axles, full metal transmission, two-speed transmission. It's got high and low. It's also got a neutral, so you can rev that bad boy and dump that clutch if that's what you're into. But it's got full, yeah, metal transmission, ball bearings inside. It's got a 16-channel receiver in there, 550 motor, 160 amp ESC, and it is one 10 scale. But it's going to be a long video. Just bear that in mind, it's going to be multi-part series because this one I want to open it up, maybe even another video, open up the actual diffs and uh, all that kind of good stuff and obviously get a driving video. But anyway, okay, let's kick it off like a dead leopard's head. US 4x4 military vehicle. Obviously it's licensed by the uh, Humvee, 
well-known uh, military vehicle. I think everyone knows it when they see it. But what's cool about this, you can also take off the top, the door. Okay, here are your quick specs about the model. 550 brushed motor, front and rear uh, differentials, all metal geared as you'd expect, and running on ball bearings. They can also be locked, so if you want to do some crawling, you can lock those as well manually, front and rear. Two-speed transmission, high and low, with neutral, uh, your wheels. And here is something that uh, you crawler guys might be interested in. It does have, well, they call them wheel reducers, but they're actually portal axles. So that is awesome. So that gives you that extra height that you need. It's got a full interior, the boot and the bonnet and the doors and all that kind of cool stuff come off. It is uh, ABS hard plastic, not Lexan, which is awesome as well. And the hood linings and all that kind of stuff, the latches are, are actually real metal and they have a little change. Heavy duty machine gun, it's got a uh, says here alloy frame. The frame is made of alloy material, which is safer. Oh, that's good that it's safe. And it's got shock absorbers as well. And they are all aluminium. Plain style transmission for this one. The uh, standard kit, I do believe, has a pistol grip. Here the other colors. Uh, let's not uh, waste too much time. Let's get into this bad boy. There's your instruction manual, super thick. And look at this case it comes in. It's like that foam that you get, I don't know if you ever bought a Phantom 4, like a DJI Phantom 4. But uh, look at that, it's even got, even the quality of the packaging. It's got some, uh, looks like metal or, High gloss plastic. Look at that. Hoo-hoo, yeah, cooking with gas. Right, first up, 16 channel. 16 channel receiver in this guy, and you can see by the size of this guy, it's, an, oh, it's a plane or helicopter transmitter. And it's got dual antennas in there. Looks pretty cool. Now, all these work with the sound and stuff on the actual uh, receiver. We'll go to that later on, but uh, there you go. Nice looking receiver. Oh, sorry, nice looking transmitter. It does take six double a batteries but you can install a lipo in here and uh yeah charge it by that boring stuff we'll get that out of the way and sorry guys if you just want a driving video this won't be the one for you i, I like to go through multi videos and show you the in-depth view some other viewers don't do that sorry other youtubers don't do that but i like to show you it all so there you go look at that list you can pause it if you want you can shift the gears Turn on different uh, engine sounds, all that kind of cool stuff. And it's basically in English as well. Nice stickers. And they're not just the uh, cheapy ones. You actually stick them on and then you peel off the other, outer layer. So it's, it's actually really nice uh, quality stickers. And the manual, it's bloody thick as. It's 69 pages, semi-color manual. But good thing about this manual, it goes through what it said in there regarding the transmitter. But it also gives you, you know, yeah, this guy, he's not too happy. Anyway, don't put the battery in the sun, we all know that. Gives you a list of what you get, and if you want to build it or pull it apart, it gives you a full, or well, pretty much like a, a booklet to put it all back together again, instructions. Really nice. And uh, there you go, there's your transmission. All metal geared. It's uh, probably very similar design to the transmission in the Tamiya gearboxes. There we go, there. Gives you everything, look at that. So I'm not going to bore you with that, guys. If you're lucky to get one, please go read that yourself. But let's pull this guy out. Now we're going to do this because it, it does weigh a fair bit. I can tell you that. I think it's like five kilos or something like that. Someone will correct me. But you can see we've got some goodies in there. Let's go see what uh, is in the bottom here. You also get a tool set. That's pretty cool. So you get a two millimeter. And these aren't just cheap plastic, these are actually uh, metal as well. That's a nice quality, so that's a 2 mil, 1.5, and a 2.5. So, two, so 1.5, 2, and 2.5 drivers there, that's really cool. Uh, so these will be just some more accessories. And these things are the brackets, they're not plastic, they're actually metal. Cable ties, a little wrench, and a four-way wrench, and some spare uh, grub screws and things like that, which is always handy. Machine gun that can be placed up on the top of that turret. Give you a quick look at that. Nicely separately applied, different plastics, nice colors. Last in here we have a charging. So, ah, if you put a LiPo battery in here, you can charge it via down there with this little trickle. I do believe there was a trickle charge, I believe. Yeah, well, it's a USB powered, so, and a lanyard if you want to hold it up. And look like a cool cat. Transmitter around your neck, but that's it. That's the box. Very nicely, uh, well, the 
as much as a foam box can be uh, made up, it does look pretty damn cool. And it's magnetic, look at that. I love magnets. God damn, it's hot. That's held on like shit to a blanket. Okay, now what we all want to see, check out that. That looks bloody awesome. And, yeah, far it outweighs a bit. But there's so much to look at on this car. All these brackets and stuff, it's all metal. They're all metal. Even this, um, what is it, the, the air intake, that's actually a metal piece. It's not plastic and you can see it's screwed on. So, everything, you know, obviously you're going to roll over a little bit. So hopefully not, nothing would all just snaps over and snaps off in one roll. But it is metal. So obviously some of the things are plastic, but the hinges, things like that are metal. Look at this, it's even got little door latches that you have to lift up to open up and to get into that interior. Look at that. Stickers in there and everything. Hope that, I've uh, got another light up here so I can shine in there quite brightly, but it's got uh, handbrake, gear sticks, steering wheel. Imagine putting up a little servo in there and turn up and putting like a little FPV camera in there. But there are the hinges I wanted to show you inside. So the metal door hinges as well, and it locks into place. And you can go here as well on the rear one. Let's have a look inside there. Go there, look at that interior. <laughs> That's really cool. You can actually take this whole top off if you want to. And everyone likes having a top taken off, don't they? Imagine if you're a scalar guy or if someone who's really into making things look more realistic, you can definitely do a lot of work with this. But these cool latches, so you just pull that down. It's like the real thing. And they are metal, obviously. I think I've said about 50 times. Pull that down like that. This front bumper bar. That is plastic, so, but everything else seems metal. These, these might be plastic, but uh, yeah, you pull that down, make sure that's down. Sorry, I have to just pull that out. And once that is, you can lift up, lift up the uh, hood. And as you can see, this whole cover is plastic, but it does have full LED lights in there. As you can see, there's a fair few. It's probably like a little rat's nest under there, but this cover, can pop off to see the goodies underneath as well. Now look at that. There is a fair bit of wiring here and that is because you have your 16 channel receiver just there. You are obviously going to have your sound system, your light system which is just there and your speaker system which is hiding underneath the passenger Side inside the uh, cab there. Here you have your nine kilo steering servo. Just say what I'll do. I'll bring it up so you can guys can have a bit of a look closer look. So there's nine kilo steering servo underneath there. And uh, yeah, wow, that's a lot of wiring. Imagine trying to get in and in fixing that up. Um, underneath here, you have your 160 amp ESC as well. It's a brushed ESC. But now once that's that lid's lifted up, you can see the suspension. Look at that. How cool does that look? It's it's going for real scale look, isn't it? You can maybe tell it in my voice, but I'm pretty pumped up. And I do like how you can, everything just snaps away. So you lift those little things up. There you go, you can get access to the bonnet if you want. Put those back down. Got your, your real life little uh, brackets and everything here. Wow, this looks sick. Uh, if I can turn it upside down. Now, doesn't that look cool? Obviously you've got your metal chassis rails, ARC channel. Obviously, telescopic drive shafts running through. Okay, as you can see, we now flip it upside down. Just how realistic does that look? You have your telescopic drive shafts. I do believe this, it's replicating the exhaust because it comes out here and it comes out the side just there as well. But really beefy. I do like how that looks. I think they've replicated underneath fairly well. Now, it doesn't look like a normal RC car, does it? Everything looks a bit more chunky, but I think it does look like the real thing. Just, you can just tell it smooths. It just, it just is really, really nice and smooth. And at the moment, they are open diffs, but if you look here, there's that little screw right here. Open that up, turn it in, and you can lock the diffs, but I'll probably show that on in another video where I can actually open up, because this video is going to go long enough. Right here, you can see the portal axles. So, your, your drive's coming in, 
and then it's got another reducer or portal axle they call it that's down below and it's driving out the drive wheel so you can see that's in the middle of the wheel and then inputs up there so portal axles awesome stuff the shocks they are metal so the shocks are metal and you probably can adjust the uh, preload with some little clips inside there but as it stands that's how it is I'll probably just leave it like that and see how it performs. There's your front bumper, I'll probably take it off maybe and paint it black. Depends how prototypical I want to go. But uh, all these casings everything, it's all plastic. Let's have a look with my little metal finding tool, otherwise known as a magnet. So, I'm not sure if that's plastic yet. That doesn't seem like plastic. But that's definitely metal. Obviously a C-channel frame is metal as well. So there is a lot of plastic and metal mixed around together let's put this guy down let's have a look at the back here because it guys this is the first time i've seen it with you guys as well so pretty exciting the back here you have two separate compartments you have a part that opens here and a little tailgate all metal hardware bit of combination of um phillips head and hex but this all brackets are all metal and these hinges are metal like i said before i like these metal chains and you've got this little part here that you can unhook Pull down that, but what's cool about this, watch this. They're like these little air struts that lift it up. How sweet is that? And internally here you have your, well you've got bolt cutters, another machine gun rack. How sick, let's open that up again. So it's got like a little charge there. How cool is that? In here we have our battery box. So you lift that little switch. And there you have, you can put a, I presume a standard size LiPo in there. That's cool, so little, this is plastic, this whole part here. But flick it down, lift it up, and then you can put your uh, LiPo battery in there. Now let's do it on the side view. You just lift it up a little bit, and it holds it up itself. How cool is that? That's sweet, I'm digging this model, guys. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. But you can also lift down this tailgate if you don't want to lift up the uh, other hood so that can stay there as well and you lock it away with those little pins but up the top here this moves as well and look at that even that little there's a little little switch there see how it's locked down if you flick it and lift it up it's a dual it's a dual hinge as well not just a single but you can then you can this turns like a turret that's bloody amazing. And then you can see internally in the car. That's sick. And that's where your, that's what the extra bracket for, that's gonna go there and it mounts your gun. But I won't put it on now because I wanna be lifting it around, spinning it around a little bit more, but how cool is that? So, hinge is locked, little switch, flick it up, bam, look at that. And that is on like a, like a cam, you can see out here. So that locks into place. Sweet. Man, this is cool. So six screws, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And they are just, well, they're two millimeter and I'll just use the uh, conveniently supplied driver. Now, we should be able to lift her up out of there. Not to show how many wires and stuff we're gonna encounter. Oh, that's gonna have to move as well. Just figure that out, there's two screws. It's the uh, source coming out of the side because it's attached to the body. And we might be free then after that. Let's have a look. All happening live with you guys. There we go. Wow, look at that. So if I can bring it over. Whoa, look at those wires. That is a lot of wires, guys. Check that out. So there's your 550. Let me see if I can move that here. No, there's your 550 uh, brush motor hiding underneath there. Your nine kilo steering servo just there as well. This is just this exhaust part you see here. Let me just zoom in. That is just all for, all for show. So that's just all for show. That's an exhaust. So there's your small, probably like a nine gram shifting servo. That's all there is to it. Two speed transmission, high, low, and neutral. 
your speaker. And that's in neutral now, so you can see how nicely it rolls. I'll put a battery in there, we can see if we can get it, uh, get it tuned. Oh, here we go as well. Look at that, I just noticed there's a little, like a tow bar or connection so you can hook up uh, like a trailer. And that's on a spring as well. So really nice attention to detail. How cool does that look? It actually looks like a real car chassis. And if I can, if I show you, let me flip it up here. Look at that cable management. So they've done a really good job there. Everything is, well, quite thick cables. It also does have like heat sink, heat shielding over it. You put that back down, I'm gonna rip that out of its socket. But pretty sweet, eh? Enjoying it. I haven't seen many people lift it open and have a look, but yeah, your 16 channel sound set, your receiver, sorry, and uh, speaker, ESC. And we have a jumper pack here, which I'm assuming that'll be for when if you're running lipos and stuff, but I'll check it out in the manual. But yeah, wow, check that out, guys. That's pretty impressive, eh? And I like how the matte green's painted throughout as well. Uh, one thing on these tyres, they seem, they seem fairly hard, foam filled, but uh, they're going for scale realism as well, I guess. So let me see if I can put this body back down and have a, have a look at some more things. Now, if it's on the truth, I want to show underneath, watch everything working, all that kind of cool stuff. When you turn it on, it is very loud. You can adjust the, the volume, but uh, whatevs. So this is on, a little switch here, bam. Damn straight. Sorry, headphone uh, users. Nothing fancy about that, but it's also got a lot of these switches, and you know, that's for your high, high speed, low speed transmission. Now, if you push up on the throttle, Now, didn't say anything. Did you hear the gear shift? So it goes, it, it revs up and it keeps it going until it gets to like top speed. That's pretty cool regardless of the position. So there was low speed and high speed, but yeah, that's pretty loud. I figured out how to adjust the volume. I believe it's this one here, but yeah, it's <laughs> pretty damn cool. The sound system sounds quite nice, to be honest. And I've just got a basic uh, LiPo that I had lying around and in neutral at the moment but yeah when it's in neutral and you're revving it the motor is actually spinning so the the motor's still turning okay you got a battery locked away that's all hunky door in there now see if i can quickly figure out how to take this uh top off and i can show it otherwise we'll leave that for another video now I decided to show you the difference. So that's a 110 scale RGT EX86100 uh, Pro. It's a 110 scale crawler, same as an Axial or a TRX4, 313 mil uh, wheelbase. The Hummer here has a 330 millimeter wheelbase. So you can see you'll be able to probably take that body and maybe retrofit it to an Axial or something like that if that's something you want to do. But you know, it's very similar wheelbase, but uh, there's a difference in size. Kind of looks very scale. So this guy is, yeah, most definitely scale. And I was trying to get uh, this top off. It takes a little bit more work. There's a few screws underneath there. Maybe I'll do that. I'll probably do that driving video with it off, see how it looks, and see the actual difference. But now I've got the camera off the uh, actual tripod mount. Can have a closer look in here so it's got a lot of potential a lot of potential you can also you know super detail that as well in there if you'd like 
because a lot of these parts in there are separately apply, uh, detailed or separately applied plastic so not just like one molded piece really sweet and it's kind of hard to, to get everything in there but you get the idea not too sure what uh, scale models you can put in here but you definitely have I think maybe like a GI Joe or something like that that'd be pretty sweet you can get one of the guys standing up out of the hood here with you know holding the machine gun out of the hood <laughs> out of the roof sorry but uh, yeah really cool now I was gonna test drive it but it's blowing a gale and raining at the moment but uh, I'll definitely do more videos this is just part one just to show you guys now one thing I noticed I'll uh, I'll get rid of this, I'll get this crawled out of the I'll lift it off the ground so the wheels can spin and I'll show what I mean in a sec. Okay, I've got to power it up and I just turned off the uh, speaker. Well, not turned off, just pulled it out of the plug because it's, it's very loud. And apparently this dial here just the volume, but I can't get it to work. So anyway, it's all working as you can see. Servo seems okay. It's a 9 kilo servo. I've probably mentioned 16,000 times already. But um, it has lights as you can see. And you can also toggle them, I believe, with, there you go, so they can have them all off, or you can, you know, they don't work, the blinkers don't work, or you can flick that little switch again, it lights up, and, you know, go left, the blinkers go on, vice versa. But it has main lights here as well, but they only go on when you give it throttle, see? So that's kind of annoying, and it, it's kind of, I've got, if you're crawling and they're not going to go on, so as you can see, go to a certain position of the stick and they go on. So that's something to consider. Now it does have like, you know, the accelerating brake and reverse type of thing. But it's not set up, it's just, it's no brake and then reverse, it's just flat out and then in reverse. So I'm not too sure, I might go check out that little, um, those little toggles on the ESC itself. But if I put it in neutral, which should be that, so as you can see, so I'm giving it gas. And there you go, it's, it's uh, you can rev it really. High speed, low speed. I shouldn't really do that, I was gonna show you on camera. And now it's in reverse, so. Pretty cool. Now. These switches here, this is for the horn, and you can also change, oh, while I'm on that, you can also change the sound as well. On the top here, you'll see, if you push and hold, you can change the the sound set of the engine. If you push and hold this other one, you can change the sound for the horn. That's pretty cool, if you want to do that. It's very loud. Um, I was looking on the manual, and like I said, it said that uh, you can use that to adjust the volume, but I couldn't get it to work. You have other switches here. Um, like uh, reverse for your steering and throttle, the um, brake as well, and the gears didn't really do much. I think it just flicks the polarity or which way. So if you want the high up here or the high up there, it just reverses it. That's all. You also got your standard trims, but all these other switches that says it does things in the manual doesn't reflect to what it actually does here. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to stick with this control. I might use my uh, new Flysky Noble. Maybe hook it up. I just I don't like how the lights do that. But anyway, that's that's minor, nothing major. But uh, I think I might have to wrap it up soon. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's pretty cool. Don't forget, definitely doing driving videos. This is just part one. But yeah, I think it's gone on long enough. This video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, if you have any experience with this particular brand, I know there's two different varies. There's this one, and uh, like I mentioned, the premium one. And there's the other one, which is very similar. It's got the pistol grip. You know what? And I kind of prefer that. Um, so far, so good. I just don't like how the lights come on when you give it a certain amount of throttle. Um, it is very heavy. I think it probably weighs about five kilos. So, yeah, bear that in mind. It's not going to be a, a thrashing type of car. It's more scale. I do like how it's hard bodied. I do like all these extra accessories. I do love how underneath that it's all realistic. And they really hit it on the head with that. So... Next video, I'll obviously take it out. Sorry, it's no running in this one. I just wanted to give you a good in-depth look before I take it out and give it a good old test because the weather here is, like I said, pretty crap at the moment. And uh, I'd rather do a whole video 
on it running and not make this one hour long. So any comments, leave them down below. If you like it, please give it a good old thumbs up. It helps dramatically with the uh, views and all that kind of stuff. If you're interested in this, check out the link down below. It is from Banggood. There are two models available, so if this one's a bit too X-y, you can also check the other one. So thanks, guys. If you like the video, like I said, thumbs up, share, like, and subscribe. Cheers, guys.